So welcome folks, Fred here. I'm going to pick it up from where Rich has left off and show you how we load up and run EAs using MetaTrader and how we've tweaked the output files to give us the beginnings of a portfolio compilation. So as Richard outlined in the previous video, we now coded this donkey and brake system into a, an EA to see how it would perform. And this is the input sheet for that particular run. We're using a, a fixed lot size of 0 0.01, a donkey and period of 100, a trailing stop of 4, 8, 8, 4 ATR, an initial stop of 2 ATR. We're going to use the step trail as was demonstrated previously. In addition, we've added in a break even setting of 2 ATR so that if 2 ATR transition occurs, we'll set the the trail to break even. There's two other inputs here which we'll talk about later which are used for other purposes. So if we accept those as our... So here we are, we're about to try and run this EA. On the chart you can see the blue is the upper channel of the Donkian and the red is the lower channel of the Donkian. Just to show you what the indicators look like, you can see here we have a Donkian setting of 100 and a moving average yellow is 10 periods simple moving average so it's exactly as we've uh, set the system up so what we're looking for now is a as price starts to move through we're waiting for a break of the donkey in order to execute our first trade and there we go so we've had a break of the donkey in the trade has entered and we can now monitor that trade. The red line there indicates our current trade position. So we've opened at this point, which is currently down here. You'll notice that the trailing stop has moved to break even already. So we've had a two ATR step. So as we move through here, you'll see the progression of the trade as we move through various trailing stop conditions. The, the trailing stop will continue to march down. It's jumping in steps because we set it up as a step option. There we had a trade that just went to break even. And as you can see, as it's moving through, trades are being executed, they're closing out quickly. But when we do get a long trade, or when we do get a trade that works out in our favour, we should get a long trade hanging around for many days. I'll just let this run for a bit and see how we're going. There you can see we've got a nice trade progressing. That's the sort of trade we're looking for. Doesn't come along very often, but we're getting a nice execution and a nice trailing stop. So if we run this through to the end, I'll show you the outcome. I'll speed this up to the point where you may not be able to see what's happening, but it'll take us through the total trailing period. And there we are, we've now completed that run. So here you can see the output from the strategy tester. This is the report of that trade sequence we just followed through. You can see here we've, uh, we started with a $10,000 account. We've ended up with a total net profit of $400. Fairly healthy profit factor, 1.73. Actual maximum drawdown is only 2.36%. Realising, of course, that every one of our trades was only a 0.01 lot size. If we wanted to accept more risk we could up our lot size and therefore generate more total net profit. But even from this simple example you can see that the breakout trader does deliver some fairly good results. You can see we've had some, some magnificent uplifts and there are some periods where it's breaking even so it's, it's just a flat line. There's a few, trail, a few drops where we've had a, uh, a loss of our 2 ATR as per our setting but uh, on the whole we've managed to generate a fairly healthy return. So now that we have an EA that produces positive results, what we'd like to do now is to see what would, would happen here if we optimise. 
this particular set of parameters. So if we open the expert properties of that particular EA, we can now go into an optimizing scenario. For example, if we stay with our fixed lots, but change our donkey period to range anywhere from say, say 50 through to say 700 in steps of 50. So we have a, a various donkey periods and trailing stops. We can go from say, let's say from one through to say 20. We'll keep our initial stop at two. We'll keep, stay with us other settings. So all we're doing here is changing our donkey period and our trail to see how this particular set of scenarios would, uh, would change the outcome. So having said that, if we then move into the optimizer phase, and uh, I'll run that and bring you the results shortly. So here you can see the output from the optimizer run. If you're familiar with uh, in T4 and how it runs its strategy tester and the optimizer you'll see that we've got a, an optimization results tab and an optimization graph. This graph shows the points on the chart where there's been particular occurrences but if we go back to here and we can sort this by profit you can see that our most profitable run delivered an output of $446. It was using a donkey period of 100 and a trailing stop of one, which is not particularly uh, unusual. But this is a bit of a limitation with MT4. It doesn't give us a lot of detail. So what I'd like to do now is show you how we've modified these EAs to give us additional information in the form of an Excel spreadsheet. So bear with me one second while I pull that up and we can show you that. So as part of our EA development, we actually produce output files which are then fed into an Excel spreadsheet which allows us to have a look at all the various combinations that MT4 ran through the optimizer. So here you'll see a list of results. It's giving us a bit of information about the total net profit. Each optimizer run delivers us one row of data in the spreadsheet. So we have a net profit figure, the number of trades in that particular run, what was the KGAR for that run, compound annual growth rate, the maximum drawdown for that run, the MAR, profit factor, executive, consecutive losses, maximum consecutive wins, percentage win, average dollar win, average dollar loss, remembering that we're using a 0.01 lot size. What's the skew of the total run? And you would have seen Darren's video on the skew to identify that we're looking for a large skew to give us the best results. Consecutive loss times the average loss, so that's what it costs us in price. The maximum lot, so how many lots were on it to trade at any particular time? What was the margin that was used in that particular run? And here we have the settings that were in the EA. So this is the, the donkey in period is 50, the stop loss multiplier of 2. We had a trailing step, a trailing stop loss multiplier of 4 ATR and a break even of 2 ATR. So you can see here is in an unfiltered sense we have uh, uh, various trades. So you can see here we've gone from, from 0 50. We've got a set of results here. If we sort it by, for example, the, let's sort this by the maximum mar, which is what we're really looking for. So if we go down to, to mar, then we sort from the largest to smallest. So here you can see we've sorted the output file by ma, looking for the highest value. And what we see here is a nice uh, progression of trades. Looking through that set of values, we end up with a donkey a period of 700, which is quite large. An initial stop of three and a trailing stop of 11. What is interesting is that the higher ma values all relate to have a look at that, they're all the longer period donkeyans. Bit unusual, not probably what you expected to see. But we'll run these figures through the MT4 strategy tester and just have a look at that, what that looks like. So here we see the 700 period donkeyan. You see the lower band of the channel. The upper band is a fair distance away because we're using such a wide and long look back period. 
But if we start this EA and see how she performs, we'll go from there. So moving forward, you can see we've taken a trade on the on the short side, close to that lower channel, and you can see here how it's progressing. Unfortunately, we dropped out at break even, but now we're moving into the long position. Trailing stop has already kicked in. Once again, we're stepping up, getting closer to the trail, and I can see that this trail has been running for quite an extended period of time. And finally we stop out at that position. We're now waiting for the next entry. Because we're running off a 700 period donkey, the distance between the upper and lower channels is quite large. But when we do get a break, it's likely to run on. I'll just speed this up to the end. And here you can see the final outcome from the strategy tester report showing us a 61.09 profit factor, a drawdown of less than 3%, 2.5%, and uh, it's a total of five trades. So as you can see, the graph is very much in our favor. And if this was to feature as one of your EAs within your portfolio, it would definitely make a healthy contribution. So moving forward now, Richard will explain how we combine various EAs into a portfolio, but this is a demonstration, or what you've seen here is a demonstration of how we would uh, select a, an EA to be part of that portfolio.